Bill Daniels was a larger than life public persona in Denver, Colorado, a pioneer in cable television. And when he died in 2000, his estate uh, created the Daniels Fund, making it one of the largest grant makers in the Rocky Mountain region. We've had an extraordinary relationship with the Daniels Fund. Uh, the Daniels Fund has been a entrepreneurial and frankly revolutionary partner in transforming the public education landscape in Denver over the past decade. I was born and raised in Denver and watched Bill Daniels as he saw people in the community, particularly young people, who were coming from poverty or difficult circumstances, and he invested in those young people. I think that the Foundation's most enduring, most effective contributions have come at the intersection of donor legacy, community input, and effective philanthropic practice. The Daniels Fund also operates an extraordinary scholarship program that a number of our alumni have applied for and several alumni have received. Scholarship for some young people, the difference between staying where they are and seeing that there's a whole other world out there for them. There's no question that the Daniels Fund is creating opportunities, second chances for people who might not otherwise have them. The question is, are they creating change? Charter schools, some of them that Daniels Fund funds, are high performing. How do we ensure that all children in the region have access to high performing schools? We're making gains in the causes and communities we care about, but are we changing the communities for the better that we care about? Daniels Fund has such a unique opportunity in our metro community, and I really hope that they take this role as an organization that can see the systemic causes and opportunities for solving so many of these problems. The best way to guarantee a living legacy for Bill Daniels is to bring the community into that dialogue and through effective, impactful philanthropy.